Welcome everyone to this week's video. Today we are on Fish Friday number 137. We have a good one for you today. Today's fish is a super cool fish that is heavily fished throughout the United States. As you can tell, I am not in my normal setup. I am recording from a hotel room, just like I did a couple of uh, Fish Fridays ago. Um, but we're still going to get you a video, no matter what. Um, but let's get down to it. Today's fish that we're going to be talking about is... And I have to do it a completely different way than normal. Bam! The walleye. Now, the walleye, or scientific name, Sander vitreous. Again, that is Sander vitreous. It is part of the family um, Perkidae, which is a family of perches. Um, you know, we've talked about them. Oops. Um, there we go. Um, we've talked about them in the past, um, the perches, and you know, they're a really neat group of fish. Um, you know, the northern pike, I believe, is the one that we talked about. But, um, and it follows that same sort of generalized um, body shape and sort of life history. Um, but, in terms of where you can find this fish, this fish is native, native to Canada, Great Lakes, Missouri River, and the upper Mississippi River. But they've been introduced to many, many other places. Um, they do prefer um, much deeper and cooler waters in lakes and rivers. Um, that's where you can really find these. They really like that deep, cold water, um, which makes sense if they're found in the Great Lakes. Um, now they are a large fish. In fact, they are the largest member of the perch family. I am completely wrong. I said that we talked about the Northern Pike. Northern Pike is a part of the family Isocidae, which is the family of pikes. I apologize, that was a completely wrong thing. I apologize for that. Um, but this is the largest family member of the perch family. Now they grow up to about 80 centimeters, which is about 31 inches long. Um, and they weigh about nine kilograms, which is about 20 pounds. That's like your larger average fish, but they can get larger. The max recorded size is about 107 centimeters, which is about 42 inches. Um, and then they, it, that one fish weighed about 13 kilograms, which is 29 pounds. That is massive. That's a massive walleye. And it seems like the farther south, the population is, the faster and larger it grows. Um, in terms of color, they're really dark green to olive in color. They're golden on the sides, you usually have saddles on the sides as well, but that's not always the case. Um, you can see here, you know, that's kind of like your stereotypical walleye. Um, if we go to the next picture, you can see that sort of walleye, that's actually fairly common. Something to note is you can see that small white spot right here on the lower lobe of the caudal fin. That's pretty prevalent. Um, obviously has that very spiky dorsal fin, that first dorsal fin. Um, and they do have a large mouth with a lot of teeth. So you can see in there, that's, that's a lot of teeth and it's a pretty big, big mouth. And with that size, with that sort of mouth, you can be, almost guaranteed that you're, this fish is piscivorous. This thing eats other fish and it eats them aggressively. Now during their larval stage, they're gonna eat invertebrates. Invertebrates, zooplankton, kind of your smaller um, things, but they obviously, when they get to large size, excuse me, they are eating other fish. Um, now during the day, they hide in rocks and trees. Um, and then they move on to sandbars during the night. They are a nocturnal fish. Um, in fact, that's when a lot of people fish for these. And like I said earlier, they are heavily fished. They are one of the most heavily fished in the United States for a good reason. In my opinion, this is just my opinion, but in my opinion, they are the best tasting freshwater fish that I have ever had. And I've had a lot of fish. The walleye is the best tasting fish and it's almost bar none. Um, the walleye is just absolutely mm, incredible, such good tasting fish. 
Um, highly encourage you. If you haven't, please go have some walleye. Um, but like I said, they're heavily fished at night and they're usually caught by jigging. At least that's kind of how I've always kind of caught them, either jigging with metal spoons, trolling, um, things like that. That's really when I've had the most success fishing for walleye. Um, I haven't fished for walleye all that much, but they are fun. Um, but a lot of times people are doing it either early in the morning, late in the day, at night, or they're doing it on heavily windy days. And it actually has like a little term for it called the walleye chop. Um, the walleye chop is basically you have a sort of cloudy day and a lot of wave action. Um, and that wave action is um, causing less light to penetrate. And that causes the fish to be a little more active than they would normally on a still um, bright sunny day. Um, in fact, this is kind of interesting, they're so heavily sought after that three towns in the United States claim to be the walleye capital of the world. And one of them is if I can get to there, Garrison, Minnesota. There's three towns, just make sure that you can see that. There's three towns that have the walleye capital of the world. Um, they all have their own reasonings for it, but all three of those towns actually have a statue erected in the middle of the town. So there's obviously some competition going there from town to town. And they're a long-lived species, by the way. They, the max recorded age is 29 years. So it would not be uncommon for these fish to live to 20 to 25 years. Now, because they are so heavily fished, usually when fish populations are heavily fished, older fish are targeted more heavily than younger fish. Older fish get larger. So you, most of the fish that you catch nowadays, especially in heavily fished areas, are going to be your five, six-year-olds. So that is a little bit of a detriment to the population. And overfishing can be sort of the reason why, um, but regardless. So now, but you know, walleye, that's an interesting name, um, which kind of leads to the first interesting fact of this video. Walleye are named after the reflective property on their eyes. If you've ever seen walleye, um, and these pictures don't, really do it justice um but the pictures if you go look up walleye pictures you'll see that some of them have almost look like an opaque look to their eye um and they almost look blind if you've ever seen like a blind animal their their gaze looks kind of hazy cloudy it's kind of how they look they're actually incredibly good at seeing light um that by the way that that reflective look to them is actually because they're um i hope i can get this right tapetum lucidum or lucidium um which is the layer right underneath the retina that's actually highly reflected and it's letting them get every drop of light moonlight starlight into their retina allowing them to see perfectly in the dark um that's how they see at night that's also why they are nocturnal and why they avoid those bright sunny days. Um, it has been shown that those bright lights hurt walleye, like hurt them bad. They do not want to be in bright light. <coughs> so there you go. That's how the walleye got its name. But now for the final interesting fact to end the video on, um, if you've been around the fishing world, you might have heard or if you just read the news about American fishing, you might have heard that recently there was a huge controversy at a fishing tournament, a very well-known fishing tournament, a tournament trail, actually, um, where some people that got first place were caught actually cheating. This is the fish of that tournament. It was a walleye tournament trail. And what had happened is those fishermen, I'm not going to say who they are. You can go look them up. But the tournament fishermen actually put lead weights in the fish's stomach. And they put frozen walleye fillets of fish down into the stomach as well. So essentially, they added weight to the fish. And they were caught because a lot of these 
people have caught hundreds and hundreds of walleyes and they're like this fish should not weigh that much and the tournament director felt for those felt something hard cut the fish open and found those lead weights so those people did not deserve to win they do not deserve any of that money um cheaters just don't belong in the fishing world um but it definitely kind of brought to light and brought to the forefront um, some of these um, fishing tournaments, kind of revitalized the tournament fishing scene. Um, it goes in stages, but huge controversy. Highly go look up, I highly suggest go looking up all those articles on that. There's a lot of information out there, a lot of neat things. But regardless, thank you guys so much again. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you again. If I don't, please be safe. Have a great day. Please leave it a like, comment, subscribe if you do. I'd really appreciate it. Hope to see you again. We will be back next week to our normal um, settings. This is a hotel room. Doing the best I can. Um, I even forgot my little stand to set my phone up on. So I'm kind of just leaning around. That's why there's so much movement. Sorry about that, but I did the best I could. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the information. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your loved ones. And peace.